Hello guys, today I've got some free things to show you. It's pretty cool, watch this. So I got this chest, it says free items. Pretty sweet, huh? It's like, oh, let's go. And now I can get some free items to uh, level up in the game. Of course, there's no levels in this game, but still. Let's go level up. So let's go on survival so you can collect all these goodies. Watch this. So I guess there are no free items for me today, sadly. Um, that kind of sucks. But let's go check out this crater. Oh my goodness. Look at this. This is what you can do to your friends. Look at this. This is amazing. So now I'm going to show you how to build this really cool trap. Okay, so here are the things that you're going to need in order to build this really nice TNT minecart trap. So first off, let's go in here. Oh my! Yep, that was another trap. So let's go over here. This should have the stuff. Okay, yes. Yeah, so here it is. So first off, you're going to need a trap chest, and then one power rail, at least two TNT minecarts, but recommended like five or more, and then an item frame to cover up the trap chest because. If you look over here, there's a difference. As you can see, the trap chest uh, has this weird red, like redstone outline on the uh, lock here. So, if you have an item frame, you can actually cover up that uh, red mark. Unless, like, the person comes up here and looks right there. But, I mean, that's really, really hard to see. And you can also stop that from happening. By just having blocks around it so then they won't be able to see the red mark and then after that all you're going to need is some sort of item that can attract uh people to your uh chest so a diamond is one really good uh item but at the same time they can just take the diamond out and get the diamond and then run away without opening up the chest so if you don't want to lose a diamond or something valuable then just add some piece of paper that says free stuff like what I did okay so now I'm going to show you how to build this really cool trap so first off you're going to want to dig down two blocks so one two and then in either direction you're going to want to dig two more blocks so one two one two then add a powered rail and then add your TNT minecarts now before you add them Look on the edge of the um, powered rails right here. Not on top of it, but right here. This part. Not the top part, but the side part. So once you're looking at that, then you're going to want to place at least two TNT minecarts. So one, two. But I recommend doing at least four. So that was two, then three, and then four. So another way you know that you're doing this right is that um, whenever you place a TNT minecart, uh, the placing animation will play. Like if I, let me just break one. So if I want to place the fourth one, as you can see the um, animation is not playing. But once I look at the side of the block like that, then the animation plays. Okay, so once you're done with that, you're going to want to pillar up to the surface. And then you're going to want to leave a block gap right here, so there's no blocks here. And then just cover it up like this. And then right above where the TNT minecarts are, so they're right here. So right above that, where the block is, you're going to add your trap chest. And now you're done. All you have to do is just open the chest and boom. Here is another way of setting up this trap. So over here, we've got a line of chests like this. But the cool part is that you don't even need item frames. Because watch, the chests are facing this way. So you actually don't uh, see the red outline. I mean, unless you look really close, like right there, you can barely see it. But I mean, like, other than that, it's basically invisible. So this is really cool because, I mean, look, they're probably like, oh, well. That's one mistake, oops. But they can check the chest and they're like, oh, there's nothing, there's nothing. They're just checking through the chest and then... 
Yep, that happens to them. So, that's another way of showing off your chests. And there is one more way of doing it. So here's another way you can set up this trap. This trap is actually a lot more fancier. So if you don't remember, this is actually the location where I have my secret bunker that I made in my video. I'll have that um, up in the card right there. And uh, um, I'll also link the video in the description. So when I press this button, the triple piston extenders retract uh, these grass blocks. So it's kind of like a secret bunker. And I mean, of course, we have to lure the people here. Because this is actually a trap now. So if we go down here, they're probably thinking, oh, this is probably a trap. But if they watch my video, they'll know that this is not a trap. Now, if you think your friends uh, will think this is a trap, then all you have to do is just get an item frame um, like this. And they won't be able to see it. Let's get a diamond in front. Like that. So now it looks real cool but when they open the chest this is what happens yep that's what happens okay so hopefully you watched the video on how to make the secret bunker so all i have to do is remember just press the button i mean place the button where it's supposed to be and then when you press it you can go downwards into your secret bunker and then you can have access to all your stuff by the way, I upgraded this bunker to where it has a layout like this, so you can also have a layout like this. You just have to remember that um, you have to have the repeater where um, the, what's it called, the trap chest is. So when I open and close it and run over here, then I can go back up. So that's really neat. But I'm going to show you how to build the trap variation, so... Um, in the other video, I did this really weird thing where I had, uh, let me get my, uh, there we go. So I had this really weird thing where I went like this, and then uh, I also had another one that went like this. And this is useless, I don't know why I did this. All you would have to do is skip that part and just add the two repeaters on full tick so you'll have enough time to uh, escape your bunker but of course you're not here to uh, for the secret bunker you're here for the trap so where the repeater is you're going to want to break the repeater and you can remove all this other stuff and then you're going to need um rails uh powered rails and a tnt minecart and a few tnt minecarts like a lot so you're going to place it like this so here's the trap chest and this and these two blocks will be powered when you open the chest so when i open this chest as you can see in this corner it's being powered that means it's working so far so now let's uh replace uh those blocks and then you're going to uh, add a block here so there's a gap right here and then uh, again add at least two tnt minecarts but because it's actually pretty far away from where the player could be access accessing the chest. Uh, you're going to want to add at least like four or five, but I'm going to add like a lot. So one, two, oh wait, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, so let's have it at twenty. It's going to be a pretty big explosion. And then cover it up like this. And then you can come back out. Okay, so once you've done that, now you're going to want to escape your bunker. So, uh, of course, you can always just dig up like this. I mean, that's the easiest way to do it. Or if you want to be fancy and bring the blocks down, then you can make a redstone wire all the way down here. And then add a button. So, like, my button would be right here. And then you can just turn on the machine to bring you back up and down now of course that did not work oh yeah because the button's actually supposed to be here so when i press this yep it should bring me all the way up and down but let me just go right here now so now i'm all the way up so now that you're back outside what you're going to want to do is leave the button here and then add a sign saying do not push the button 
you will explode. So of course, this is uh, this is going to make people want to push the button. And plus, when you push the button, it's not even going to make you explode. That's the funny thing. So let's press the button. Ooh, what's in here? Secret goodies? Ooh, I want to check this out. What? There's nothing in here, huh? Where's the stuff? Where's the... And boom, they will die. So now you're probably wondering, how powerful is this trap? So I'm going to show you how powerful this trap actually is. So let's go into survival mode, like that. And when I open this chest... Okay, so by the way, this... uh. I just break these blocks actually. So there are um, two TNT minecarts right there, just two. So this is like the minimum. So let me just cover it up all the way. This is the minimum, and I'm also gonna open this from really far away, from like right here. So when I open this up, it doesn't do much damage when you're far away, but if you're closer, of course, it's gonna do a lot more. So that probably made you really mad at me, because then you're like, wait a second, this trap isn't even that powerful. But hold on just a minute. That was from me pre uh, opening the chest from really far away. This is uh, how much damage it does when you're actually really close. So I need to heal up, of course. So let's just wait for it to go all the way up. Okay, so now I'm all healed up. So now let's go up to the chest, open it, and boom, look at that. That was only two TNT minecarts, and that instantly killed me. Now this is double the amount of TNT minecarts there are. Four TNT minecarts secretly resting right beneath this trap chest. So let's open it. Boom. Instant death. And that was uh, from a lot farther away. Okay, so now it's time to put this trap to its limits. So, what I have in my inventory is, of course, an OP sword that has sharpness 1000. And then I've got uh, some normal gear, which is uh, the best normal gear you can get, so... Protection 4, full set of armor, we've got Enchanted Golden Apples, Totem of Undying, Potion of Turtle Master, and Splash Potion of Healing. So for this second round, or third round I guess, um, I'm only going to wear the Netherite armor, and this trap has 4 TNT minecarts. So let's go into survival mode, like that, put this armor on, and then let's open the chest. So as you saw, that did almost nothing. So when you're going up against a really, really OP opponent, you're going to want to add a lot more TNT minecarts. Okay, so now I have 10 TNT uh, minecarts that are right under this chest. So let's put on the armor, and let's detonate it. Okay, so I'm actually going to show you how fast I can build these uh, TNT minecart traps. So all you have to do is really dig two blocks down, go like that, add a power rail, and then add one TNT minecart, and then just search around. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cover it up, add trap chest, and you're basically good to go. So now I'm going to uh, go into survival first off. I already made a special um, set of armor that's blast protection 4. So let's go into survival, put this armor on. Remember, this is 10 TNT minecarts with blast protection 4 on all pieces of, pieces of netherite armor. So I open the chest, and I barely survived. As you can see, 10 TNT minecarts was still not enough to kill me with OP explosion armor. Okay, so now I have 15 TNT minecarts. Why? Okay, so it turns out that we've been having a problem with um, the TNT minecarts uh, exploding you away from the massive death explosion. So I think I figured out a way how to get around this. So let me just test out my idea. So let's go into survival. Put on the Protection 4 suit of uh, another right armor. And then let's press it. Okay, so that did not work either. So I guess I'm going to have to figure out a way how to make it so it can kill someone. So 
I'm going to test out a lot more ideas that I have, and then I'll show you uh, in just a few seconds uh, the idea I came up with. Okay, so this is idea number seven, so blast protection armor. Initiated, and... Yes! Okay, so 64 TNT minecarts was the amount that I needed in order to blow myself into smithereens with blast protection for armor. But now I want to test out if this will actually work with Enchanted Golden Apple, Totem of Undying, Potion of Turtle Master, and Splash Potion of Healing. Okay, so the armor is on. As you can see, Golden Apple consumed, Potion of Turtle Master, and let's find out. That was so disappointing. Okay, so the game is lagging pretty hard, so I don't even know if you can hear me, but if you can, that's a good sign this computer is really good. If you can't, then, well, I'm just going to have to add subtitles. So, let's get into this. So, survival mode and... That was epic. Look at this crater that it made. Look at how deep it went. Oh, and by the way, that was 640 TNT minecarts. I forgot to mention that. But yeah, 64 is the sweet spot. 640 is just way too much. It just blasts you away from its zone. For some reason, 64 TNT minecarts is like just enough damage to where it will kill you if you have like full-on enchanted netherite sadly uh you can still survive with um potions and uh gapples golden apples enchanted golden apples actually but still i mean like this trap is really really good so that's it now you have all the knowledge you need to know in order to instantly kill your friends with a trap in Minecraft. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. Also, if you want to um, see me make more trap videos like this, please comment down below which traps I should make. And also comment down below if I made any mistakes or if I should do things better that I did not do or something like that whatever so thank you guys so much for watching see you later